In this video, we're going to work on some problems associated with compound interest, like this one. Luke puts $1,000 in an account that pays an annual interest of 9%. What will be the value of the account after 10 years? So the formula that we need to use is this one. A, which is the final account value, equals P, the principal, or the amount that he invests, times 1 plus R over N raised to the NT. R is the interest rate as a decimal. N is the number of times interest is credited to an account on an annual basis, or per year rather. So let's say if the account is credited with interest only once per year, N is one. If it's compounded quarterly, that is if the account receives interest four times a year, N is four. If it's compounded weekly, if the account receives interest every week, then N is 52 because there's 52 weeks per year. So N is the number of times the account is credited with interest per year, and T is the time in years. So in this problem, the amount invested is $1,000. The interest rate is 9%. 9% as a decimal is 0 0.09. To get that value, take 9 divided by 100. Now, how often is interest credited to this account? Well, we see that the account pays an annual interest of 9%, and there's nothing else to tell us that it's compounded monthly or weekly. So N is 1 for this problem. And we want to find the value of the account 10 years later. So A is going to be 1,000 times 1 plus 0 0.09, or 1.09 raised to the 10th power. And so this is going to be $2,367.36. Now let's move on to part B. So what will be the value of the account after 20 years? The only thing we need to change is the time from 10 years to 20 years. So this is going to be 1000 times 1.09 raised to the 20th power. And the answer is going to be $5,604.41. So this example really illustrates how time is important when investing. So let's analyze this. In 10 years, his account went from 1000 to $2,367.36. So basically, his gain was $1,300, $1,367.36 after 10 years. But when he keeps it for 20 years, his investment multiplies by a factor of 5.6. So his gain is more than double. It's more than $1,300. In this case, it's $4,604.41. So by leaving it for 10 years, he made about $1,300. But by leaving it for 20 years, he made $4,600 from his investment. So the lesson is simple. The more time that an investment has to work, the greater the return will be. Number two, Sam invests 5,000 in an account that pays an annual interest of 10%. The funds are invested for 20 years. What will be the value of the account if interest is credited to the account on a quarterly basis? So on a quarterly basis, N is four. There's four quarters in a year. Each quarter represents three months. So now let's use the same formula. So P, the principal, or the amount invested, is 5,000. The interest rate is 10%. 10 divided by 100 is 0.10. N is 4, and we want to determine the value of the account 20 years later.
So let's do this one step at a time. 0.10 divided by 4 is 0 0.025. If we add 1 to that, we're going to get 1.025. And 4 times 20 is 80. So it's 5,000 times 1.025 raised to the 80th power. And so the value of the investment 20 years later will be $36,047.84. So to round it to the nearest set. Now let's move on to part B. Let's see what's going to happen if the account is credited with interest on a monthly basis. So everything is going to be the same, but we're going to change N from 4 to 12. Point 10 divided by 12 is point zero zero a 3 repeating. If we add 1 to that, this is going to be 1.0083 repeating. So there's many 3s after that. And then 12 times 20 is 240. So if we type in 5,000 times 1.0083333333 raised to the 240th power, we're going to get 36,640 and 37 cents. So notice that this amount it's about $600 more than this amount. So what does this tell us? When interest is credited to an account more frequently, the return will be slightly more. So in this example, when interest is credited 12 times a year, the amount earned over 20 years is $600 more than if interest is credited four times a year. Now the difference is not that great, but over many years, it could be significant. Now let's move on to our last problem. Megan invests $10,000 in an annuity that pays a fixed interest of 6% on an annual basis. How many years will it take for investment to double in value? So let's start with this equation once more. Now, interest is credited to the account on an annual basis, so N is 1. Her original investment is 10000 We want to find the time it takes for her to double the investment, so we're looking for T. So when her investment doubles, it's going to be worth $20,000. So let's replace A with 20000 and let's replace P with 10000 I'm not going to plug in the value for R yet. N is 1. If we divide both sides by 10,000, we'll get that 2 is equal to 1 plus R raised to the T. Now what I'm going to do in the next step is I'm going to take the natural log of both sides. A property of logs and natural logs allows us to move the exponent to the front. So we're going to get ln2 is equal to t times ln 1 plus r. So dividing both sides by ln 1 plus r, we're going to get a formula that tells us the time it takes to double when we receive interest on an annual basis. And here it is. The time it takes to double is equal to the natural log of 2 divided by the natural log of 1 plus r. So now let's plug in r. r is 6%, so that's 0 0.06 as a decimal. So this is going to be the natural log of 2 divided by the natural log of 1.06. So you could use log or natural log. Both will give you the same answer. So let's type in ln2 divided by ln 1.06.
And the answer is 11.896 years. So that's how long it's going to take for Megan's investment to double in value. Now, you can get the answer quickly, or at least an estimate of the answer, using what is known as the Rule of 72. According to the Rule of 72, the time it takes to double is equal to 72 divided by the interest rate as a percentage, not as a decimal. So we're going to take 72 and divide it by 6, not by 0 0.06. 72 divided by 6 is 12. And so we can see that this formula gives us a good approximation of the time it takes to double. 11.896 years is approximately 12 years.